What's up photo nerds? This is Joe with J Blake Photo and today we're going to be talking about the new Sony A6600 and A6100 fresh off the heels of Canon announcing their new uh, crop sensor cameras. We have two new crop sensor cameras from Sony. Um, ooh, the, uh, the season really is heating up. Let's talk about it. So just as we got leaks from Canon that they were going to be releasing new crop sensor cameras, the 90D and the M6 Mark II, video link up here uh, for that. Go ahead and check it out. Um, I'll have a, a future video coming very soon as pricing has been announced for those cameras and I definitely had some thoughts on that. Wanted to compare the two cameras now that we know the prices. Um, but fresh on the heels of those crop sensor cameras being announced, Sony released uh, and, and announced their new uh, crop censored cameras. Um, and I thought that we could really kind of dive in and take a look at some of these. They look super exciting. Before we hop into that though, just um, two quick things, uh, two quick programming notes. Um, number one, uh, I'm gonna be going on a handful of trips over the next uh, six months or so. Uh, so it's August, now almost September. Uh, and in October, I'm going to be in California in the San Diego area. Uh, in February, I'm going to be uh, in Maui. We're going back to Maui, me and my wife. And in March, uh, we're going to Holland. Uh, we're going to be going to the Netherlands. Um, so if you've ever been to any of those places uh, and you've got some great photo spots that I should check out, um, please go ahead and uh, put comments down below. Now I've been to San Diego many times, I grew up there, and I've been to Maui once before. Check out my Instagram, at jblakephotog, uh, for photos of both of those places and the shots that I've already gotten. Um, never been to Europe, so this is my first trip there. Um, so if there's something that you think that I should be checking out, check me out on Instagram, message me there, or message me on Twitter. Go and follow me on both of those uh, social media platforms, at jblakephotog at both places. That's the first programming note. Second programming note, um, I am going to be launching a podcast uh, soon. I'm getting some friends together uh, and we're going to be doing some some chats about the photo industry, about just cool experiences that we've had out doing photography, um, probably less about kind of news and announcements um, like I do uh, here, but um, just talking about photography, what makes us love it, what makes us uh, motivated to get out and shoot, uh, and I'm gonna try and get a handful of people on that podcast. So be ready for that to be coming out soon. Again, follow me on Twitter for that. You're gonna be seeing a lot of, uh, of that stuff coming out on Twitter. So at jblakephotog, go and find me there and, uh, and you'll be getting news about stuff as it comes out. Okay, so that's it for the programming notes. We'll kind of put all that aside and now we can actually talk about these cameras. Now the reason that I'm doing one video for both cameras is because they are very similar, the 6100 and the 6600. The 6600 replacing the 6500 um, that I think came out in 2016. It's been just a little bit. Um, this camera is going to be coming with, well, both cameras are coming with a 24.2. I'll go ahead and throw all this over here. So 24.2 megapixel um, sensor. The 6600 is going to have uh, the Bion Z, Bion's, Bion's X. It's got their chip in it um, that makes things super fast uh, and it gives them all their processing capabilities. So the 6600 has that built in. The 6600 has the uh, five axis in body stabilization. Uh, that is huge. Uh, the Sony in, bo in body stabilization is phenomenal. Um, you know, Sony and, uh, and Nikon have it. Canon does not still, we're still waiting on Canon to come out with a mirrorless uh, camera that has that um, that multi-axis stabilization. We're still only looking at digital stabilization inside uh, the Canon cameras at the moment. In addition, of course, to in-lens stabilization, which this is also in addition to, this camera has 425 phase detect autofocus points um, that cover that cover 84% of the screen. So that's not the whole screen, but I'm gonna guess it's gonna be a lot more than what we get out of our DSLRs, uh, where we've got everything kind of bunched in the middle. Um, on this uh, 6D Mark II uh, that I'm currently shooting on, which has a transplanted uh, AF system from the 80D, the autofocus points are like here, like that's it. Like they make up like this part and that's it. 
Um, so outside of that, and, the, and right now when I'm shooting, um, this is using live view, so this is actually shooting directly off the sensor. So that's how it has dual pixel autofocus and it can, it can stay kind of focused on my face. The 6600 shoots at 11 frames per second continuous autofocus tracking, and that does include the eye tracking technology that we saw uh, in the newer Sony cameras just last year. That is both real time for video and still, um, and it includes both people uh, and animals. This camera shoots in 4K with HDR, and it has a, uh, a flip up tilting touchscreen. The two things that they're pushing on this particular camera uh, as, a, as a huge leap over the previous version is that it has 0.2 second or 0.02 second autofocus. So it has an extremely fast lock on autofocus capability. And also the fact that they have upgraded the new battery. It now has the Z series battery and that battery will shoot for up to 720 shots. It's supposed to be twice as powerful as the previous battery. But in addition to the fast autofocus tracking um, and the improved battery, it also has a headphone jack in addition to a microphone jack, which is huge for this tiny little camera, um, as well as the fact that it has the real-time autofocusing and it shoots in 4K30 with a uh, super 35 millimeter. So no uh, line skipping, no uh, pixel binning, which should result in some really good looking 4K. So now the A6100 also has the same 24.2 megapixel sensor. It does not have uh, the Bion Z processing power, which is probably why it doesn't have the same ISO range, doesn't have the same processing power built in. So without that additional processing power, it's not gonna reach that same uh, capability in low light situations. It does not have the in-body stabilization. The uh, viewfinder, the electronic viewfinder is about half as crisp as the one on the A6600, so definitely not flagship level, and it doesn't have the headphone jack, uh, but it still shoots in 4K with a full sensor readout with that oversampled um, readout. No, no binning, no skipping. But when you're shooting in 4K, unfortunately you will not have the real-time eye tracking, although it does have the autofocus mode, just not that eyeball tracking stuff. That's being provided by that Bion's ZX processor, is it Bion's 10? but it doesn't have that chip, so it doesn't have that capability. But that sounds like it makes sense, unlike in some Canon cameras where you can have the same processor, but you don't have the same capabilities. Um, so I don't know. But here's where I'm actually really excited. The 6600 is gonna be coming at 1400 um, bucks. That's a little high for an APS-C camera right now, but with all those features, I mean, who cares? I think that's a great price. Uh, we'll have to see the image quality off of it. We're gonna have to see it in the field, see how well that um, autofocusing is working in uh, video mode, although I assume it should be the same as in the A7 and the A9. Uh, and we'll kind of have to see if there's any other things that have been kind of chopped off on the A6100 to make it more um, cost effective. Uh, but it's coming in at 750 bucks. That is phenomenal. That is an awesome camera. I actually know someone that I'm going to see today that I'm going to recommend this is the camera you need to get. When you're a photo nerd, like you are, like I am, that's why we love this stuff, because people ask us questions, because we need to be the smartest people in the room when somebody says, hey, isn't Canon the best camera? Or, hey, doesn't Sony make the best mirrorless? Or, hey, have you ever seen, you know, what's with that autofocusing stuff? Or DSLRs can't shoot video. You're the one that knows. I'm the one that knows. We're the ones that talk about it all the time. We're the huge nerds in the room, and there's nothing wrong with that. So I'm super excited for, uh, for gear season to roll out before the holidays. This is when all the announcements come. Very, very exciting times. I hope you like this video and this information. I love these cameras. I think this is going to be super cool. Uh, and I'm, again, hoping that Canon responds because I got, I got all this glass. I've got all this glass. Um, and I really hope that Canon's able to respond. And I am just, I'm pumped to see what the market is gonna do. One more small programming note. Um, I'm probably gonna be dropping some videos related to mountain biking on the channel. Uh, not specifically about mountain biking, but clips and some, you know, kind of let's ride uh, stuff from my recent trips. Um, so if you're interested in that, hit the subscribe button. If you're not and you're just interested in the photo stuff, hit the subscribe button anyway. Uh, if this is something that you're interested in, hit the like button. That tells YouTube that you like the kind of stuff that I'm doing and however you got to me is the way that other people should get to me. 
Um, stay tuned for the podcast. I'll have more info there. Go and follow me on Twitter at jblakephotog. Follow me on Instagram also at jblakephotog. And I will see you in the next video. Oh, tell me places to go in Maui, San Diego, and the Netherlands. All right, see you in the next one.